They wanted to take us to jail. Okay, so how did you talk yourself out of? We got in the car and drove away. Okay. <laughs> Before they got there. Today we're at CCW Bash of the Brew at the Tank Brewing Company. For the first time. For the first time. And I'm joined by Tony Donati. How you doing, Tony? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you here, man. Definitely. Definitely. It's uh, good to see you. Um, now, is it Tony Donati? Is it Tony, Tony Twist? Dick Twist? Is no, it Tony oh, oh, Twist? What's, it's Tony what's Twist. What's going on? Uh, who's talking about Twist and Dicks? I, I, That's I, some sort of sick joke. From somebody here at CCW. Okay, it's just it's a sick, Tony Twist. It's Tony Twist. Okay. Now, there's been a lot going on. I mean, you were on my podcast about two months ago. I had you and Fabu on. We were doing the top ten tag teams of all time. I remember that. Right? Yeah, you I remember, remember that, right? So we had the had the Heavenly Butterflies. I had to have you guys on with Taz Ford. We are one of the top ten You teams. are, definitely. Well, you're Maybe not. Maybe you should say was. Was, I think. Was. Okay. Yeah, you had no problem bashing Fabu over the head with a steel chair and essentially going He deserved your own. it. Well, what did he do to deserve it? Do you know Fabu? I do know Fabu. I know Fabu. Do you know Fabu well? Well, you probably know him a lot better than I do He's personally. He's narcissistic, yes. self-absorbed. And it's just always got to be about him. And I got tired of him taking the credit for everything and putting the blame on me when anything went wrong. So I just I saw an opportunity and I had to get rid of him. I mean, Fabu is very, has a lot of personality to him. If you want to call it that. I, I'll call it that. But you are more of a no-nonsense And I got of tired guy. of his nonsense. Oh, okay. So no-nonsense. And now you're teamed up with Hardcore Horvath. Who's also no-nonsense. He's absolutely no-nonsense. So there's no-nonsense over here. Okay, well, I just talked to Fabu. He's calling you guys what? like Team Baldy or Team No Air. Or... Yeah, he's on his way, too. Yeah. Have you seen him? No, I, I mean, his locks look great from at least my perspective. Tonight. I think they're fake. You th Are you saying he's hair club for men? Yeah, I am. And okay. he's got gap teeth. Have you noticed that? Well, and he's got two first names. Fabu, Fabu Andre. Andre. Well, That's, there's a lot of things going against him. <laughs> I think there's a lot of things going for him, though. No. No, come on. No, no, no. 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 He's... Oh, wow. It's, there it's is something. I don't know. It's getting rowdy in here. Good. Oh, oh, oh they're, they're chanting QT sucks as Meadow walks through the uh, Hot tank crowd here company. for the Tank Brewing Company. Well, it's going to be time. awesome. Yeah, it's going to be, be awesome show. now. Back to the important Back matter. Back to the important things, which is you, of course. Yes. Okay, so now you've got your eyes set on Tag Team Championship goal. That's all it's been set on for four years. Okay. Fabu was more concerned with Fabu than the Heavenly Butterflies. Okay. So I got rid of him and found somebody that we can be a team. Put the team first. What I love about you guys, I was watching you guys at uh, Rumble in the Jungle a couple weeks ago. All right. You guys are no nonsense in there. Of course we are. You guys come in, you kick ass. There's no extra hoopla or, you know, no glitters or around, no dancing. No none wings. of that. None I don't of that. Have to take off my jacket right. at an annoyingly slow pace. No. <laughs> it is absolutely. Got no rid of all of that. All of that. All of that. Now I've been told. That tonight you're teaming with Hardcore Horvath, of course, and you're going up against Fabu and Jackal Stevens. Well, this is news to me. It's I was supposed to, to wrestle Jackal Stevens. Uh, is it, am I breaking? The, I, that's what I've been told. I don't know. Who told you this? Fabu told me this. He said he talked to management, and something has happened. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I guess something has happened. Last night at Port St. Lucie, he beat Hardcore Horvath. So the, now I have to wrestle him next weekend to Tampa. That's what he he earned his match by beating Horvath. He cheated, but he beat him. Okay, now you guys. But I don't know what tonight is. Tonight I was supposed to wrestle Jackal Stevens. So I don't know what kind of thing he's weaseled himself into. That's what I've been told. I haven't yeah, spoken to reliable them. source. It is. A, it's a source. I didn't say it was a reliable source. It is my source. Well, he did mention that you guys are having a match on October 12th in yes. Tampa, a bunkhouse brawl match. Yes, our specialty match. Your specialty match. What are you going to bring to the bunkhouse brawl match up in Tampa? You have to be there and see. Oh, okay. So you know the last one. The cops were called. The cops were called for that our match. Last Bunkhouse. It was that. It was that. It was that violent. It was that chaotic. They wanted to take us to jail. Okay, so how did you talk yourself out of? We got in the car and drove away. Okay. Before <laughs> they got there. Wow. So it was this that. This was when we were still on good terms. Right. Wow. Okay. So it kind of had that old like Kevin Nash throwing in Rey Mysterio into the uh, in WCW yeah, Nitro where people. Yeah, yeah. They called the cops. They called the cops on you. The territory was shut down. The show does not run anymore. Wow. Oh, Bill Weaver, he'll tell you about it. Okay, I'm gonna. I need some more. I need a. You know Bill Weaver. I do know, so I need another source. He'll tell you about it. Wow. Okay. 
So what goes through your mind when the cops are on the way to... We did a good job. We did we a good job. Uh-huh. We beat somebody <laughs> okay. up so bad. Yes. They had to call the cops. Mm, okay. So that's going to happen to Fabu this time. Well, he's tell- going to be on the receiving end instead of the giving end. Because oh. we were a team at that time. you well, got to remember that. That is true. We're not a team anymore. I no hate more. him. No more. You hate, you hate him. Mm, he hate says him. he hates me, so. Oh, man. I don't know why. You got, I always felt so much love with you guys, with the Heavenly Butterflies. Mm, I think he loves himself. Uh, he does love himself, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, Tony, is there anything else I should know before you... No, now i got to go get ready for the surprise match. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> yes. Well, guys, if you like interviews like this with Tony Twist, Tony Donati, Tony will kick your ass. Guys, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can stay tuned in here to Tone in Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.